Hello, hello, hello. When the show goes on, we had a great time with the Lord Calibar. Now I'm going to another great guy called Lord, not only Lord, but you can add Sir to it. Lord Sir Idiot. Show some love. <laughs> This guy, one of the G8 comedians who are making waves and, um, well, he happens to work at Safa, so I know him very, very well. But I am very, very proud of him because he, he's taking G8 comedy far. And I think, I could be wrong, uh, to date, I think he's the G8 comedian that I have seen performing on international platforms. He has just returned from uh, trips from Germany. He went to Belgium and the Netherlands. Show some love, man. <laughs> Put your hands together. Let us welcome the idiot, Sir Lord James Brown. James Brown, welcome to the show. I mean, it's so odd because we're here high, you know, but he's here anyway. <laughs> Seek and run. We'll be right back. If you reach for that remote, I will bite you. The KSM Show will be right back. The KSM Show. We are back! It's, 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 it's very interesting having you here, you know, but um, I'm not seeing James Brown now. I'm seeing a very hard-working G.H. comedian uh, who's going places. I've seen you on stage. You've been doing some acting on stage. I've seen you doing stuff. And then I hear you have a gig outside the country. And I, of course, you came to ask permission from me, so I know. I'm not <laughs> pretending. I'm not pretending like I read this in the newspapers or anything. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But uh, you had gigs in, in Germany, Belgium, Netherlands. Tell me about this first of all. I had a gig mm -hmm. in Germany that uh, I was supposed to act in a play and also do some stand-up comedy. It's like, if I'm there, why not figure out other stuff? So before I left, I managed to book another gig at the Comedy Cafe in Amsterdam and also get one in Heel in Belgium. So Heel? Heel. In yeah. Belgium? Yeah, mm. it's G E L. G E A E E L. There are plenty E's in it, okay. and it means yellow. Okay. Yeah, so they don't take their time to name their town. Like, oh, it's yellow. Okay, yellow. <laughs> so, um, I had I had a gig mm. there. So you went there primarily to do in a play. Yes. What play was this? Dinner for one. It's it's an old English play about a woman. All her friends are dead, but she still has her birthday with her friends there and her butler. So I had to play a butler who had to play four other people at the party. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That sounds very exciting. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and how, did, how, did, how did you get to perform in Germany? Or you performed it here? And Last year I went on an exchange program with uh, AFS, American Field Service, mm -hmm. and I lived with someone and she saw my madness. So she invited me to come perform at a house concert in Germany. Hmm. I did, I did so. Then I did some stand-up comedy. It was very nice to help help Germans laugh because you know <laughs> Germans. Are <laughs> Germans are, and with all respect to all Germans watching, but I hear they have a very, very different sense of humor. Well, not different, but they, they, you are coming from the background of Ghana. Yeah. You're thrown on the stage to do humor and make Germans laugh. How did you approach it? I was told that in their culture, it's rude to show your teeth in public. Really? Yeah, that's why they don't laugh rough, rough. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Oh, yeah. No, I'm serious. Jokes. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm very serious. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was told. But um, everyone at the house concert, there were like about 45 people. Everyone was like, you know, they had an idea about English. So we had to speak one one. We don't speak by heart like the way we speak in Ghana. And I had to glorify my English teacher over there and speak impeccable English. I. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was an adventure. It was fun, you know. It, it was slightly weird to have a performance and there were no Ghanaians there to say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it, was, it was an adventure. It was an experience. And, and you got them to laugh? Oh, they laugh. You won't laugh, eh? Hey. <laughs> and they laugh, they laugh. And they what, laugh. what material appealed to them? What were you saying? Well, most of what I did was comparison because mm. uh, our cultures are very different. And some things that we see here as normal, they find it as extreme as possible. Like crossing the road in Ghana is it's, it's an adventure, but we don't know. On the sidewalk, cry, we cool, then how much more on the on road? The road. <laughs> <laughs> 
the simple comparisons of rats that I used and they were so And they enjoyed that. it? Yes, yes. Wow, yeah. wow. And so, uh, um, so that was a, a comedy, uh, well, comedy bar? That, that, was, that was a house concert in Etstein, Germany. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Amsterdam Comedy Cafe. It's, this is it's a beautiful place. I wish we can have one here. They do comedy shows Monday to Monday. Like, that's really? all they do over all there. All the time? Yeah. It's How many cafe. hours a day? It's, it's open in the evening, so I, from 8 p.m., and they do shows, like just comedy from really? anywhere so any, and Really? So anytime you want, yeah. Yeah, you just yeah. walk in and... You just you're, walk in, wow. you just book, and then that's it. Yeah, so I, I booked an open mic session, and I must say I probably did better than most of the comedians there because they, their comedians came to me and they were like, oh, yeah, I like your style. Like, yeah, I, I would say I like your style, but I have no idea what you said. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's that's so, good. so it was the same kind of uh, material comparing stuff. Um, or comparing stuff, and also since I, I usually go to where I'm supposed to perform, like a day or two before, observe stuff and use it. So Amsterdam was so amazing, like the first place that you can still look gangster riding a bicycle. Like everybody is on a bicycle. You can't even pick up girls with bicycle, and it works. It will never happen in Accra. Bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I observed stuff and wrote, you know, as you thought as so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, wow, 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 wow. That's fantastic. That, so how many performances in all? Three performances. The last one was in Belgium where I performed for one hour. It's just... Um, one hour? Yeah. It was, it was... I named it the license to rent. So I had... Also, that was about 45 people. And, you know, I just... And you rented? Oh, rented for, for one hour. And they were still sitting there when I finished. So I think it's a success. Yeah. That is amazing. Show some love. Show some love. Show some love. And, and, and of course, uh, you know, coming from where I'm coming from, I really, really appreciate the, 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 the courage it takes to do that, you know, because even in Ghana, when I move from Accra to Tamil and I'm going to perform, I, I get a little jittery, you know, in terms of audience, you know. So I'm talking Ghana to Germany to people who don't even speak English. That's very nerve-wracking. Yes, yes. And if you, if you got them to laugh, then... It was, it was, but uh, we also learned how to hide it because a lot of them were asking, oh, how do you feel? Mm, <laughs> 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 but it was, it was a great experience mm. and I'm glad, you know. Well, I'm also glad for you. So now you're back and uh, what's, 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 what's the feature of uh, James Brown in G8 comedy? Um, I've got a few shows here and there, you know, mostly like come and perform at this event. And I also like to um, come in soon, revive my comedy bar brand, because this is, this is where I develop my craft. This is where plenty of people develop their mm -hmm. craft. So mm -hmm. if it comes back to help people develop uh, craft. And I'm also um, in talks with um, my manager who is trying to get me stuff. So uh, we shall, we, you know, Mm. Well, comedy, comedy is, uh, is really picking up, mm. you know, um, and, and the difference between my time and your time is that my time is practically me, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I met the likes of uh, Fritz and um, Tommy Allen Forsen, but they were sort of stepping out yeah. and I just walked in and fortunately uh, unopposed for, mm. for a long time. But you guys, yeah, by what, six of you? Oh, or more? Six, no, I'm not talking about oh. you guys. I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking about you know the yeah. the, 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 the strong ones. Maybe it's the strong ten, ones. Maybe ten of us. Yeah, and yeah. it's very very. Yeah, yeah. Right now it's, it's it's competitive. You know, everyone wakes up, gives himself a title. We have king, prince, queen. I call myself the fetish priest of Ghana. You, you are the fetish priest. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. it's very competitive. Yeah, very competitive. And, and yeah. I think that is good for us. Mm -hmm. that you know that mm -hmm. the least mistake. Mm -hmm. And we have very good Ghanaians who, uh, we, we know our people. They will blast <laughs> you, so they will keep you mm -hmm. up on mm -hmm. your game. No, your time is more challenging. It's very, it's very tough, mm -hmm. you know. And sometimes I sit back and I watch you guys and I'm like, wow, you know. Uh, it's keen. Yeah. It's very, yeah. very keen. Yeah. Yeah. 
they're very keen and it, it at least it helps you you have to develop different material all the time mm -hmm. so, uh, mm -hmm. with competition i think it's healthy competition it is helps, yeah. it is it is i would also like to say a very big thank you to anita styles of germany um Emmanuel, Emanuela Mechand of uh, Netherlands and also the Mihils family who helped me out in Belgium to organize all these shows. Very big thank you to them. Well, James, congratulations, man. Same to you. Keep, same keep, to you. keep ribs cracking and keep it up, man. Show sound for GH Comedy. All right, all right, all right, all right. And by the way, um, just, just so... Just to clarify, what does idiot stand for before they tell me I was insulting you publicly? It stands for intellectually dramatic, insane, and outrageously talented. Idiot. Thank you. Just to love one more time and stick around. We'll be right back. Don't move. Don't blink. Don't breathe. The KSM Show will be right back.